Hello, Anton. Hello, amigo. Hola, amigo. I've got a crazy idea. And you too, I guess. Let's check whose idea is crazier. Okay, friends, I bought this tow rope on my way to Minsk in case of a bad outcome when Tesla's battery is discharged and we do not reach the destination. Be sure to watch that video if you haven't. But today, Anton and I decided to play this bad outcome. Yes, look. What do we have? We have Tesla, a tow in I, and a tow line. We just need to find a tow car itself. Indeed. Everything you wanted to know, but hesitated to ask about towing Tesla for charging with a heavy Jeep. Or what do we do if we're on the highway, the battery charges almost at zero, and the nearest charging station is at least 100 kilometers away. Today we'll carry out an experiment. My poor car. So, here we go. Here goes. Uh, Meet our old friends Roman and Alexander. They will help us with our experiment. They've got big and powerful cars. Ready to tow? I'm ready. Electricity versus gasoline. How much gasoline will be spent per kilowatt of electricity? What is the weight of your car? Two tons. Consider this tow line already torn. What do we do? You've come to the right place, boys. Colleagues, I've got no reason not to trust these people. Here's what I call tow line. Conclusion, for Tesla you need to have this sort of tow line. The one you can see in stores is not enough. Will it tear? Instantly. That's the way it is. Do you have any idea how to do this? There are restyling and non-restyling versions. I think we'll have to unattach. So, we'll begin with Tesla disassembling. First, we open the trunk via the app, controls, front trunk, we open it. Technically, this front part can be removed with a special plastic tool. Okay, but there's another way, like this. Okay, done. That was very cool, I'm impressed. And behind it, here's the 12-volt battery terminal. If there's no other way to open the car, you need to apply a current of 12 volts here. Like asking your neighbor. Yes, they can help. Look, Anton, I guess this thing will look just great on the wall. You know what? Don't make such jokes right now. Let's successfully shoot the video first. I don't even know what to say. I'm worried. You are worried. I've never tried this. Theoretically, everything is clear. Theoretically, yes. Drive on neutral. This is very important. If you discharge the car so much that the drive mode does not turn on, you're doomed. Therefore, when you drive and suddenly realize that you can't reach your destination, you must save enough energy in the battery to turn the drive mode on. Yeah, we're ready. Go, go, go. Look at the speed of the 30 km per hour, the battery is getting charged by 40-50 kWh. The energy consumption is now about minus 500 Watt per kilometer. Can we accelerate to 60 km per hour before parking? I'm not sure, but let's try. Yeah, but take care of your car. Now we charge the battery almost like, almost like using. Chademo. Yes, Chademo. We've been driving for 30 minutes. Cannot make it 60. Fine. Noted. Then let's park somewhere here or after a turn, if possible. I 
I love those numbers, 999 kilometers. And there are minus 661, we charge the battery by 600 watt hours, half a kilowatt hour. Yes, look, now we see 52%, and when we started it was about 48%. Roughly speaking, after 3 kilometers of a trip, we charge the battery by 660 watt-hours. Let's say, half a kilowatt-hour. So after 30 kilometers, it's gonna be 50 kilowatt-hour. Our velocity was 40 kilometers per hour, and we were charging at a speed of about... The charging speed was higher than Type 2's, but slightly lower than Chedemos. So with a velocity of 60 kilometers per hour... Yes, you need to catch a truck and make it tow you. And if this speed is at least 60 km per hour, how long does it take for a Chodemo charger? Ideally, you need to be towed for at least an hour. In an hour, your battery will be fully charged. Yeah, yes, an hour is enough. On the rear-wheel drive car, wheels give very strong resistance. What about all-wheel drive version? Wheels will be slowing the car down twice as much giving twice as much charging. The charging speed will be higher, but let's ask Alexander why his huge car couldn't accelerate to 60 km per hour. Alexander, that was very cool. How does it feel? It feels like the car can't accelerate at all. You push the gas pedal, but the car still doesn't accelerate. Is the truck better for towing Tesla? Definitely. Can I see fuel consumption? I've already looked myself, 75 liters. 75? Yeah, 75. But, my friends, do you think we'll stop that easily? Do you think we'll just believe? I don't want to see it. Just believe one onboard computer. This blue Neva is with us for a reason. We've got a plan. Let us show you. Let's do everything for show. Using this measuring container, We'll accurately measure 2 liters of gasoline and place it in a larger container. Then I've got an electric fuel booster pump in the engine and a reverse hose. We'll put both hoses sense in the container. The engine will take the fuel here and return leftovers here too. Not a drop of extra fuel. All the fuel we spent will be calculated using a measuring cup. This is... Uh, very cool! The old school way, scientific method. The result will be accurate. Here goes. Using volumetric flasks, using old school method, we'll measure the real fuel consumption of the car when it tows Tesla. Yes, this is the traditional method, inherited from ancestors. I would say from the 17th or 18th century from the first industrial revolution. And Tesla is the third industrial revolution. Electronics, remote-controlled cars, satellite constellations, two eras met. Yeah. There will be a left turn from the left lane soon. Take the phone and shoot the video. I don't get it. Too narrow, 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 narrow. Exactly at this turn I was testing if the autopilot manages such overpasses. It does manage. I can't say this way of charging is free. I wanted to say that, but I realized that it was not free. Yes, it's not. We'll find out how much it costs soon. Yeah, I hope that Niva won't run off the gasoline suddenly. I believe in this Niva. Ramon is... Roman is super cool. He has a lot of experience. Are they advanced off-roaders? In his past, he was a professional trucker. He also participated in races in six axle cars. Guys, looks like we won't make it. Ask him whether I should place my foot on the gas. Should we give some gas or not? Yes, you should, I think. What do we have? The distance is 3 kilometers, but for the last 200 meters we've drove 1.6, 1.5 kilowatt hours.
If a person who was a professional truck driver says that he's never seen anything like this, that Tesla is really a heavy car, then it's an extremely heavy car, not just two tons. Not just two tons, but two tons that slow you down, indeed. Let's ask how it felt. Roman, tell us what it can be compared to in a matter of drag. Once I was towing a Ford uphill, towing Tesla takes much more effort. Twice as much or thrice. Twice at least. We should have tried to turn not the maximum regeneration on, but the minimum one. It would be interesting. Guys, here is all the gasoline that's left. How much was there? Three liters. And visually? Visually till here. We're pouring the remaining gasoline into the measuring cup. Exactly one liter left. Of three. Of three. Two liters consumed. Two liters consumed. For the distance of 2.7 kilometers. 2.7 kilometers. Yes, let's calculate. The most important conclusions of our experiment. First, you can tow an electric car in order to charge the battery. But there is no instruction, of course. Do not try our experiment at home if you are not ready to accidentally break something. Second, as a towing car, you need a very powerful vehicle. It's better if it's a truck. You could see that Neva didn't manage towing Tesla at all. Neva started to overheat. And Ford barely managed. We also noticed another interesting fact. With Ford as a towing car, battery charging power was slightly higher with the same gasoline consumption. With a truck as a towing car, efficiency will be much higher. And now we can formulate the first rule of Electric Motors Club regarding towing. One kilowatt hour of charged energy equals one additional liter of gasoline consumption in a gasoline vehicle. Total consumption will be 1.4 liters because the gasoline car should also move itself. What do we have? To charge the battery by 30 kilowatt per hour and to get about 100-150 kilometers of Tesla range, you need to be towed for 50 kilometers by a car of the same power as we had and to consume about 30-35 liters of gasoline. Our third conclusion is absolutely not surprising but still interesting. According to our calculations, charging at the charging station in Russia is from 10 to 40 times more efficient than charging by towing. Because it'll be fair to pay the driver of a towing car for 30-35 liters of gasoline he spent. You can figure out the efficiency number in your country too, using gasoline and electricity prices in your area. Thanks for watching the video and for being interested in the details. We are very curious to know what the fuel consumption of a truck will be and how much the final cost of charging Tesla with towing will be reduced by using more powerful car. We'll have this experiment in the future. Please comment what else we should check and what to pay attention for. I wish everybody a good mood. Watch our videos and leave your opinions in the comments below. Bye!